Welcome to Your Miraculous Life. I'm your host, Dr. Keenan Bridges, and I'm excited that you're with us. I believe that the tangible presence of God is invading your room and that your life will never be the same again. I am so excited about today's message because I believe it's going to change and transform your life. Can I pray with you, please? Father, I thank you for every person under the sound of my voice. I thank you that the anointing destroys the yoke and that you catapult them into realms and dimensions of the supernatural that they have never experienced before. In the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You know, in Genesis chapter 39, we see a very interesting figure. We find out his name is Joseph. He's at the time the youngest child of Israel or Jacob. And he's given a coat of many colors, but his story is a profound story that I believe has supernatural implications into our lives today. And in fact, Joseph shares a dream with his brothers, and that kind of gives us a little hint. Sometimes you can't share your dreams with everyone, and his brothers actually throw him in a pit. In fact, they wanted to kill him, according to Genesis chapter 39. They were trying to kill Joseph, but he was actually thrown into a pit instead, and he was taken into captivity, and he was actually brought down to the house of Potiphar, who was an Egyptian, and sold into slavery. And so Joseph is a slave in Potiphar's house. But I love what the Bible says. And it says this, and the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man. Wait, what? What do you mean he was a prosperous man? Which begs the even greater question, what is prosperity? We've talked about that in past broadcasts, but, but we see that Joseph is carrying something that is profound, powerful, that will actually define who he becomes in the future. He is carrying a spirit of prosperity. And on today's broadcast, we're going to talk about the Joseph anointing. You know, what that's all about, what that means. I believe that God is raising up Joseph's who will actually be financial deliverers. And I'm going to explain what a financial deliverer is in just a moment. Nonetheless, we see Joseph, he goes down to Potiphar's house, and the Bible says that he is so, uh, so good at stewarding that Potiphar puts him over his entire household. In fact, the Bible actually says that Potiphar doesn't even take record of what's in his house. That's how good of a steward Joseph is, that he doesn't even reckon what's in his household. He just, you know, commits it to Joseph's trust. And it's interesting because Joseph's name means Jehovah has added, which means that what Joseph is experiencing and what he's going to experience is divine increase. It is a story of God adding to a person's life, increasing a person's life. And so when we talk about the Joseph anointing, we're talking about a spirit of divine increase. I want you to write that down. The Joseph anointing is a spirit of divine increase. But in Genesis chapter 39, verse two, it says, and the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man. We said before that the word prosperity comes from the Hebrew word shalom. And that word literally means completeness or wholeness. In other words, there was nothing missing. There was nothing broken in Joseph's life. Well, how is that possible? How is Joseph prosperous? He has no land. How in the world is he prosperous? Well, it depends on your definition of prosperity. I want to submit to you that prosperity is not an economic status. Prosperity is a spirit. That's right. It says in 3 John 2, beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you. It's interesting when God says that to Israel, they are being literally taken into captivity by the Babylonian empire. They're about to go into Babylon for 70 years as slaves. And God says, I have plans to prosper you because prosperity is not just about what's in your bank account. It's about what's in your soul. Oh, that's right, friends. A lot of people maybe have overflowing bank accounts, but they have bankruptcy in their soul. And vice versa. 
There's a lot of people that that may not have a lot in their bank account, but their souls are abundant, are rich and overflowing. And it's just a matter of time before what's in your soul is reflected in what's in your bank account. I don't know who this is for, but you need to know this. Your circumstances do not change the word of God, but rest assured the word of God does change your circumstances. I don't care where you are right now. You may be like Joseph, you're in a pit, but let me tell you something. You can prosper even in the pit. And eventually that prosperity in your spiritual life, your emotional life, your mental life will actually be a segue out of the pit and into the place of promise. When we come back, I'm going to teach you how to catch, if you will, the spirit of prosperity so that you can live the life God has foreordained and predestined for you to live. I'm telling you something. There's a Joseph anointing that wants to destroy the yoke of poverty on your life. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on your miraculous life. Are you ready to leave the land of lack and enter God's land of promise? Do you desire to experience biblical prosperity in a tangible way? In this powerful resource bundle, you will receive biblical keys to unlock supernatural abundance in your life. Learn the secrets to overcoming debt and lack. Apply the wisdom of God to experience supernatural increase and break the spiritual stronghold of poverty in your life. Become a destiny helper in the kingdom of God. For your gift of $65 or more, you will receive the Breakthrough Bundle, which includes Dr. Keenan's brand new anointed book, Teach Me How to Prosper, Biblical Keys to Supernatural Abundance. Receive decades of revelation and biblical application packed into one book. You will also receive Dr. Keenan's powerful and insightful book, Releasing Miracles, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God. Be equipped to move in signs, wonders, and miracles. You will also receive the Releasing Miracles Anointed Prayer Club. Use this as a point of contact to release your faith for miracles, signs, and wonders. Every prayer club has been prayed over by Dr. Keenan and his team of intercessors. Again, for your gift of $65 or more, we will send you these powerful resources. To receive your gift today, simply call us at one 800 516-7038. Again, that's 1-800-516-7038. Or visit our website, www.keenanbridges.com. Or write us at Keenan Bridges Ministries, P.O. Box 159, Ruskin, Florida, 33575. Call now. Prayer partners are standing by. Listen, before we go further, we have a very special segment called Ask the Pastor, where people on social media ask us questions and we answer them on the air. I would encourage you to go to my Facebook page to watch the feed so that you can see the questions uh, or the opportunities to ask the questions. And we're going to answer those on the air. And we have a question from social media, which I want to answer right here live. Listen to the question and we'll be right back. Hi, Pastor. So I have a question about, you know, Jesus, right? We always talk about the words in red. And Jesus said to his disciples that the poor will always be with you. So can you explain if the poor is always going to be with us, then is it meant for everyone to prosper? Thank you, Matt. What a great question. And I think it's a question that many people have. If Jesus says the poor are with you always, doesn't that presuppose that there will be many people that will never be prosperous, never be rich, never, never live in abundance. Well, I love that question. And I want to use actually this teaching of Joseph to really go into that. You see, you have to understand, first of all, we live in a fallen system. And when we talk about this system, even when we look at Joseph, it's very interesting. Joseph has a promise from God, but yet he's in a pit. He has a promise, but he finds himself in Potiphar's house. And eventually, if we follow the narrative, Joseph is falsely accused and he's actually thrown in prison. So here here he is. He has a promise. He finds himself in a pit. He has that same promise. He finds himself in Potiphar's house. And then with that promise, he finds himself 
in prison. Listen to this. The prison does not change the promise. Why is that important? Because we live in a fallen system. I think sometimes we mistake the system of this world for God's economy. And those two things are totally separate and in many cases antithetical to one another. You have to understand when we talk about the poor we'll have with us always in this fallen system, there will be poverty because of the nature, the fallen humanity of human beings, the nature of men. Men are greedy. Men are selfish. Men are corrupt. And because of that greed, corruption and selfishness, there will be poverty. There will be systems of poverty that exploit the poor. But that doesn't mean that because there is poverty in this fallen system, we should reject the promise of prosperity. Poverty in the world does not negate the promise of prosperity in the word. The Bible says the man that fears the Lord, David said it in the Psalms, wealth and riches shall be in his house. It's, it's kind of like saying, well, Lord, if there's still sin in the world, how can I live a righteous life? How can I be holy if there's sin in the world? How can I, how can I walk in faith if there's so much fear all around me? Well, the fear around you should not, should not inform the faith within you. The same thing, because there's sin in the world, it doesn't mean there should be sin in my life. And I would argue further, because there's poverty in the world, it doesn't mean there should be poverty in my life, okay? And so the promise does not change because of the atmosphere around us. Recession, depression, but God's economy can flourish in the midst of that. And I want you to know that God wants to endow us. He wants us to catch the Joseph anointing so that like Joseph, we can prevail over our circumstances. We can prevail over the limitations in our life and we can see the promise of God come to fruition. Listen, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on your miraculous life. My friends, God is calling you to be a financial deliverer. Years ago, I was in the worst economic shape of my life. And the Lord said to me, I've raised you as a financial deliverer for the body of Christ. And I said, what are you talking about? I can't even pay my bills. But let me tell you something. The anointing, the anointing destroys the yoke. See, before God gives an appointing, He releases an anointing. And I'm telling you right now, if you have felt in your heart, you know what? There must be more than this. God, I am tired of being sick and tired. You are frustrated at people not living the best that God has ordained for their lives. You know that Jesus says that there is more according to John 10, 10, that the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I'm come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Proverbs 10, it says the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. Let me tell you something. God wants you to be blessed, not stressed, blessed. Why? Because there are things that you need to do in the earth to affect change in this generation. I believe that God is raising up a bunch of Josephs and Josephines who have an anointing on their life from God, from heaven, to be entrepreneurs, to be, watch this, to be managers, to be stewards, to be supervisors, to go into the marketplace, to go into the workforce, and to bring transformation to everything around them by the wisdom of God and the anointing of God that he has placed upon their lives. Can I pray for you right now? Because ultimately, let me tell you something. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, then none of this matters. You need to know Jesus. You need to make him the Lord of your life. You need to make him your Lord so that you can walk in his purpose for your life. Can I pray with you right now? Father, I thank you for every person under the sound of my voice. And I thank you, Lord, that you've called them to be free. And I ask you to say this prayer after me, meaning it with your whole heart. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is is the son of God. He suffered on the cross and died. He defeated Satan. He was raised again on the third day 
and he is now seated at your right hand praying for me that I may have life and have it more abundantly. Lord Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart, forgive me of my sins and wash me and cleanse me in your blood. I believe that you died on the cross, you were buried and you rose again just for me. And because of that, I am a new creation. Friends, if you pray that prayer, I believe your life will never be the same. And I want to pray for those who need to be activated in this Joseph anointing. Say, Father, I receive the anointing of supernatural wisdom that destroys the yoke of lack, insufficiency, and financial bondage. I release it over you now in the name of Jesus. Listen, go to the phones, 1-800-516-7038 or visit our website, keenanbridges.com or write to us, Keenan Bridges Ministries, P.O. Box 159, Ruskin, Florida, 33575. Friends, I believe your life will never be the same again. We want to hear from you. And until next time, remember, Shalom and Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Looking for a church home? We are conveniently located in the heart of Tampa, Florida. Join us Sunday mornings, 10 a.m., Supernatural School of Ministry, Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m., and an hour of breakthrough prayer, Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. Join us 6015 Inner Bay Boulevard, Tampa, Florida, 33611. See you soon.